Today's episode of the Spring Report features the Callaway Epic Super Hybrid. Man, that thing looks explosive. Uh, golfers, if you enjoy our content today, make sure you like the video, leave us a comment, and then you subscribe to our channel for future videos. And lastly, if you want our final thoughts on this hybrid, make sure you skip to the final chapter. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we've got the Callaway Epic Super Hybrid, Thomas. Um, that thing, it kind of looks unique. It's a, a thick hybrid. It uh, looks like it really packs a punch. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna dive into that today, tell you everything you need to know about the Epic Super Hybrid, and then Thomas will do some testing. So we'll see how this thing uh, plays in the market, see wh which golfers it'll fit into the best, and ultimately how it performs. So Thomas, you've got it in your hands. You've hit maybe a few initial shots with it, but what do you see when you look at it first? Yeah, so you said the word thick hybrid. I feel like it kind of looks closer to a fairy wood. Yeah. Obviously, it's a shorter golf shaft because yeah. it's a hybrid length golf shaft. Uh, I see adjustability, so I see optimization yeah. as, as a club fitter, which is always unique. I'm looking at the, the weight that's on the mm -hmm. front of the club here, or I guess on the back of the club, uh, where you can change based on swing weighting issues, uh, if you want to go longer or shorter, or if you want to change the spin rate up a little bit. Right. So we got options there, but you also have the hustle adjustments too, which yeah. is always intriguing. So we initially have the full hybrid, the full hybrid's got 21 degrees of loft on it. Probably doesn't fit me perfectly, but there are other clubs that could fit me perfectly. So for example, there is a two hybrid. They've yep. got two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. That two hybrid I'm talking about, it has 16 degrees of loft on it. Put that thing at the minus one setting. It's gonna play a little bit flatter. It's gonna be- It could almost be a, like a three wood almost. Right. Uh, so you could play it down that low, but also you can get your six hybrid at 27 degrees of loft. Uh, so it can. That's why this club's going to fit so many different golfers because you get those golfers that maybe can't quite get you know a six or five iron quite into the air. Uh, then you can get them into a hybrid like this and it'll launch high uh, for them. But getting into some of the tech stuff here, um, I mean they they say this is a dry is a hybrid with driver DNA in it. And what Cali means by that is everything that you you know would see or have heard of in their Epic drivers is going to be in here, which you know the jailbreak velocity blades right kind of right behind the club base it used to be jailbreak technology they mo they modified it upgraded it with some yep. velocity blades behind the club face so for explosive contact and really a pop off the face there and then of course the artificial intelligence so you got the flash face technology there too um, so essentially the club face design is basically unlike something that a human could think of to design um, for that shape so the result is going to be extreme forgiveness extreme heat off the face and some powerful distance so yeah. the epic uh the epic super hybrid i mean it's it, and it looks like it just packs a punch there's just that some power behind that club face there yeah and also to add in uh, tungsten weighting so they've got mm -hmm. the tungsten weighting kind of kind of left and right sure. of, of the club there uh that's going to really give that explosive distance along with the flash face s21 face mm -hmm. it's going to be I'm expecting it to be really, really hot hybrid. It's unique because this is their second generation of a super hybrid. Yeah. Their last super hybrids came in longer golf shafts, yeah. I believe. I believe the shafts are a little bit longer. This time around, we've got back down to that standard length hybrid, but we actually have a steel fiber golf shaft in there mm -hmm. too. So Aerotech steel fiber FC 75 mm -hmm. in the uh, stiff flex here. So it's unique. I, uh, I'm excited to talk about the feel with this golf shaft because obviously you know steel fiber is not a full graphite shaft. It's kind of yep. a little bit of a combination of, of steel and, and graphite, but it's it's unique. Definitely is unique. Um, more premium golf club, but I'm excited to test it and see how it goes. Yeah, let's see what happens. So Thomas, you've got the Epic Super Hybrid in your hand now at a dress. You're looking at it. Um, how does that maybe compare to other hybrids that you've seen and you know, I mean, what do you feel by looking at it? It's a larger profile for yeah. sure. It, it, uh, no, this, is a, this is a four hybrid, so it's going to have a little bit more loft, a little bit more mass behind it. Um, but you can definitely see that the, the kind of, it's larger, it looks more like a fairy wood. Okay. It looks like a higher lofted fairy wood, I okay. guess is what I, I would say it looks like with a maybe more sharper club face. Okay. Yep. Looks like it's got a lot of meat behind it. So let's see how it works. This one's nice and straight. Yeah. Clean strike. Clean strike. 
So now, curious as to numbers wise, you have a 21 degree hybrid in your hand here. What would you roughly expect numbers wise? I know you don't play a hybrid. That's a good like question. This, so. yep. <laughs> I uh, I would guess 220 okay. carry is at, a, at, a, at a rough guess. Okay. Yep. I mean, that was 217.6. Oh, so that's pretty good. I will say the spin was 5400 there. Yep. So. so, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of loft and it's going to spin a lot for mm -hmm. my swing speed. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I use a four iron instead of a four hybrid. It felt like a good swing. Yeah. There's yep. the draw. Yep. That was pretty nice there. Two thir well, 229.2 carry, 238.9 total. Right. This is a little bit more distance. Mm -hmm. I think the first couple I hit a little thin. So I'll drop the spin down a little bit. Yep. When you hit it, well, when you hit it good, I mean. When I hit the middle of the face. That was a good swing. At least we got two good shots in there. <laughs> that had to be close to that other one, right? Yeah, it was. Yep. You got three right on the center line. You got three that are, well, two that are kind of way right, I would say, and then one that's right. There we go. Oh, that's a good swing. That's a good swing. That is beautiful. Yeah, so I feel like starting out here, I've, I've got three shots in there that I feel like I hit pretty good. Mm -hmm. There was maybe three where I left the face a little little open and maybe got a, maybe a gro groove lower on the face. Yeah. So I'm curious on the ones that I hit solid, knowing this is a four hybrid, 21 yeah. degrees loft on it. What were those numbers? Yeah, so we can kind of bring this up here. So. So you've got, let's see, we got seven shots on the board here. If I were to go on the far, kind of the farthest right, you actually carried a 222, went 231.5 on that farthest right one, but then there was one next to it there, a little bit shorter, 214 carry, 222 total. Uh, I, mean, that, I guess that those one actually the ones, spun over 6,000. Yeah, those are the ones space. that I feel like I just left the face a little open, and we can see actually on the club face here, I'm catching a little bit low on, yeah. on the face. So I mean, here. you've got you, your spin, you've got one that went as low as 4,600 or 40, well, yeah, 4,600. And then you've got one up over 6,000 on the spin. But yep. um, obviously on those shots where you do catch it pretty square, you're hitting the ball, carrying it nearly 230 yards and it's just shy of 240 total. So um, you're seeing a little bit of a difference there, but that's kind of to be expected when you hit it low in the face. Right, and yeah, with a four hybrid, that's about 10 yards. When you said the ones I hit solid gone 230, that's about 10 yards further than I would normally feel like I'd expect to hit yeah. a four hybrid. It's just the spin. It's just, just too much too much spin for, for me, and that's why I play a four iron in, yeah, in my bag. In now, bag. there are good options here for a player for my speed. As I mentioned, you've got the two and the three where yeah. we can adjust around a little bit. I'm excited about to get to test those in the future and see how they feel. But yeah. initial testing with this, I want to talk a little bit about this golf shaft. Yeah. So it's it's unique. It's definitely it's stable. I mean, the, the steel fiber shaft. It's kind of like a little bit of in betweener here between like steel versus versus graphite. Feels just maybe just kind of a little little bit heavier than some other graphite shafts that I've kind of tested with. But it, it just feels nice and stable through the ball and very very clean. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel like the club's twisting too much. It just yeah. feels really good. So I think Callaway's done a great job by including Aerotech with their steel fiber range as one of their golf shafts with this yeah. club. And we've, we've always gotten great feedback too when, when customers are fit into that type of shaft. It's always you know a, a positive experience for them. And um, it does, it kind of gives you that smooth feel of, it's a, it's a smoother feel of a steel shaft almost, right? Where like the steel shaft can kind of be if someone that maybe needs a smoother or lighter swing, um, putting, getting them into a steel fiber is kind of that happy medium that really works well for those players. So right. that should be, that should be a, a really good uh, kind of option there, a really good choice for golfers to get into the super hybrid and have that shaft as an option. And keep in mind, those golfers that want a maybe more traditional graphite golf shaft, absolutely you can custom yeah, get yeah. those in, in, in this club as well. But this is one of their, I guess their stock offering. It's a, it's a premium golf shaft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, so Thomas, I did want to get your opinion too on how it felt and the sound as well after yep. hitting your shots that you did, um, because you know, it's you know, driver DNA. You kind of see you know the fairy wood of it as well, but I mean obviously it's a super hybrid. So where does it, you know, the look and feel? How does that kind of fit into that whole spectrum? Yeah, no, it uh, it's not as 
loud as what a driver would, would sound because the club head's smaller than a driver, so it's not maybe as, as hollow in, in, yeah, the, in yeah. the middle. So it's, it's just a little bit more compact, a little bit more compact than a ferry wood, but larger than a, than a hybrid. So it yeah. kind of fits kind of right in the middle. Uh, it's, I think it's going to present confidence for, for golfers that want to go after it with their hybrid mm -hmm. to know that the ball is going to, one, pick up distance. We see distance-wise yeah. is great when I hit it solid, but also give a little bit of forgiveness. Now, you mentioned I hit the ball a little low on, low on the face on a couple of those. They yep. still got out there okay. It did. So two, yeah. two, it's close to what my average four hybrid would be right. anyway. A couple of those that were right, you still were just shy of 230 yards, and you never actually exceeded 240 with your good shots. So you're... If it's what, maybe a 10 yard difference there at most when you're kind of maybe catching it thin, as you said. Yep. Um, which ultimately, that's pretty darn good uh, considering, you know, how, I mean, that's just how golf clubs are built. And especially in the past, when we've seen hybrids, um, you can really flare that spin way up and then the, the ball speed can really drop as well. Right. So I think that's, it's cool that we're seeing the ball speed retention actually on those shots because ball speed, the lowest was 145, highest was 148. So I mean, the ball speed on all of them, despite the fact that you maybe not weren't catching it perfect, it was still really consistent across the board. I'm not gonna lie, it did not feel like they're within three miles of each, out of each other because I feel like a couple of those swings were not my best swings. Yeah. And I would have thought maybe it dropped five or six miles an hour, but that's that's impressive. So mm -hmm. this ball speed retention is really important. Um, so it's just showing the level of forgiveness, and it's just showing that this club head, hot hot club head. All right, so Thomas, the Epic Super Hybrid. Um, I think we were kind of impressed by the forgiveness and the fact that I think the ball speed retention was really impressive when, you know, you didn't, you mean probably what, three maybe other shots you caught really solid and the other yep. ones weren't quite perfect and yet the ball speed was fluctuating by three to four maybe miles an hour. So impressive there. And then, you know, we just talked about too how it kind of would fit a lot of golfers just by how, how many different loft options. I mean, when you look at this and you put it down, it's not so much that I was impressed with the forgiveness, I kind of expected it. Yeah. Because it's, it's a larger profile. Mm -hmm. And a larger profile, we all know, is gonna generate a little bit more forgiveness yeah, for, yeah. for players that don't hit the middle of the club face all the time. And I didn't hit the middle of the club face all the time. I, you can see I hit a little low on, on yep. the face. I get a little more spin from yeah, hitting yeah. low on the face, but the distance was pretty close. And that ball speed retention definitely stood out. Yeah, so the ball speed retention is what really kept that ball flying uh, you know, far enough where it kept up with your kind of good contact shots. So, I mean, because the spin did go up a little bit and we noticed that, but uh, the fact that the ball speed stayed there made sure that the ball didn't, you know, jump back 20 to 25 yards if you miss hit it. So that was impressive to see from the Epic Super Hybrid. And of course we, you know, the feel and the sound, we talked about how it, you know, it is that powerful, uh, you know, sense to it. It's got the jailbreak AI velocity blades. It's got the flash face SS21. So the same technologies packed into their, you know, drivers that have been so successful are in the Epic Super Hybrid here. So Thomas, after hitting it now, we have all those loft options that I mentioned. Um, what type of golfer really is gonna be best for the Super Hybrid? Well, it's, it's interesting, because last year I was almost about to kind of play around with the last generation Super Hybrid and that two hybrid okay. could possibly play as a, a three wood, because I wasn't okay. in my three wood as well. So better player absolutely could play it with you got the adjustability options. Yep. But generally speaking, it's gonna be a little more forgiving club. So yeah. for those players that Need a little extra ball speed. Yeah. They need that forgiveness. Need that help to get up in the air and spin a little bit more. But keep the ball speed high and keep that ball speed retention mm -hmm. essentially. So, yes, a lower handicap golfer can play like the two hybrid. Yeah, yeah. But generally, you know, it goes all, all the way up to a six hybrid. So a slower swing speed golfer may fit into that particular club. Yeah, it's gonna. I mean, essentially, any player can fit into this club one way or another. Whether it's the Low, the two hybrid at 16 degrees or even up to the six hybrid at 27 degrees. So um, golfers watching this, likely you could fit into that window of golfers. Um, if you're interested in Epic Super Hybrid, you know where to go. You can go to secondsweet.com. You can schedule a fitting on our fitting website with one of our experts like Thomas, and we'll get you set up with an Epic Super Hybrid that will help you hit the ball a little longer, straighter, uh, get some extra forgiveness at the top of your iron set there too. So Thomas, thank you for joining today, providing your insight on this epic super hybrid. Not a problem.